Today we're going to talk a little bit about Teams posts. Now a post, remember, is a little different than a chat. A chat is an open forum and a post is directly associated with a channel within a team. And today we're going to talk about what happens if your organization is consolidating their teams or you want a backup of a critical post that you have. How do you do that? I'm going to show you. It's actually pretty simple how to do. Unfortunately, there's some complex automation that can be built for it, but generally speaking, we just manually move these posts. So stay tuned and let's jump right to this. So what I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the screen here. We are looking at the screen. Notice here I've selected teams and I've selected this bogus uh, uh, team right here called partner three. And I have a channel in it called general. Notice here that, and by the way, general is a standard channel. Notice here I have posts, and I want this post right here. I want to be able to save this post for later. So I know that I'm going to be migrated soon, and I want to make sure that this data gets saved. Well, there's one way we can do it, of course, is we can just highlight this, click copy, and then paste it into a Microsoft document or anywhere else, right? That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to click on those three arrows right there. Now, notice here, to get that, I just need to put my mouse over the top of this text. See the three arrows right there? Easy peasy. Now, let's go over a couple of these options in here. If you hit save this message, let's just do that as an example. Notice here it says saved. And in order for me to see that, I can click on here and I can go to saved. And that message will appear right here. See it? Now, the problem with doing it this way is that if somebody goes and deletes, let's take that saved off just by clicking there, by the way. We'll go back to the team. I'm going to go back down there to general. There it is right there. If somebody deletes this team, which in a lot of times when you're migrating teams or they're reconsolidating teams, they're going to delete that team when they get done with the migration. And you're going to lose that data. Even if it's saved, it's really just a pointer back to this team. So saving is probably not your best option here. Second thing you can do is um, if you copy a link, same issue as with saved. You're going to lose that once they delete that. The best option here really is to um, share this with Outlook. If you share it to Outlook, what it's going to do is it's going to do basically a screenshot of the post and the replies. As you can see right here, excuse me, it tells you where it's from. Partner 3, General, Channel Conversation for Microsoft Teams. You can put some other data in there if you want. And there it is right there. And then you can see the other responses there in the team. Now, you can just go ahead and send this to yourself. Or if you want and you know where your new team is going to be, you could try to send it um, to your new team. And so if you click on your new team there, and you go over to here, and you say get email address, and you click on this bad boy right here, now it, you could put that in as the email recipient for that Outlook message, whatever you decide. Uh, those are the kind of the ways to do it. But just realize that you have to migrate the data. A lot of times when they tell you to migrate the data, that means when they get done with this team migration, I'll give you an example here, what they're going to do is they're just going to go to the team, they're going to say manage the team, and they're going to remove everybody from it. Now, this is just a bogus environment, so you can see it's just me. I can't really remove myself. But if there were other people on here, they would just be removed as access to that information. And so that the team isn't really gone in case something was missed, um, but uh, you'll no longer have access to it because they'll want to encourage you, for example, in this new company structure, they'll want to move your behavior into using the new company standard. Now, what happens if you have a chat in your environment real quick? So chat is different than posts. Chat is just a, um, it's, it's, it's really just an open chat, right? Like you'd see in any app, like text messaging. But the chat itself stays because it's not associated directly with the teams, an individual team. 
it is associated with Microsoft Teams, your account. So if you're seeing your chat now, or others that you're working with, they're seeing their chat, you should be good to go. And that's about it. Good luck.